guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News. Let's get to some Nintendo News. First of all, uh, some people were asking the developers of Watch Dogs, uh, will the Wii U version look more like the PS4 and Xbox One, or more like the Xbox 360? And uh, what the developers have said is somewhere in between. Um, uh, that it's they basically said if if I had to choose between those two options, probably more like the Xbox 360, but it will look better than that. So uh, it's just one more thing for the Xbox and PlayStation 4 crowd to point at the Wii U and say, "See, it isn't really next gen, is it?" So that's annoying. There's an interesting video series on this one YouTube channel called Game Theory, um, and in it, uh, well, in this particular one, the guy proposes that the Wii U is the new Virtual Boy. Now, if you're not familiar with the Virtual Boy, this is something that came out during my childhood, and it was a huge bomb. I remember when I saw it in Toys R Us, I thought it was so cool, because it was like a virtual reality headset where you could see in 3D. Um, but of course, it was a gigantic bomb. It was way too expensive, way too cumbersome, and the graphics were just wireframe, red wireframes. It, it was not, it was not good. Uh, I do not know what Nintendo was thinking when they put it out, um, but they did, and uh, it did not sell well. And since the Wii U is not selling well, this Mr. Game Theorist guy says the Wii U is basically Nintendo's new virtual boy. It's gonna be that console that people in a decade are, are chuckling about and saying, can you believe that Nintendo released this thing with this cumbersome tablet thing? And you may be right, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully the Wii U turns around. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys later on for some Zelda news. See you tomorrow for more Nintendo news. Bye, guys.